Okay, today is April 18th, 2018, and right now at 9.45 p.m. we have a temperature of 51 degrees in the foothills of Los Angeles. We have a relative humidity of 59%. The uh, dew point is uh, 37 degrees, and the barometer is at 29.98 uh, inches. Okay, so today we had some uh, moderate to heavy uh, chemtrail spraying. Uh, we had a uh, very uh, heavy tide of that uh, aerosol uh, muck moving in out of the uh, west, the western skies, early this morning. And by about 2.30 in the afternoon, it had blown away over the mountains. And uh, suddenly, by about 2.30, we had natural clouds in the skies. Big, puffy, white, natural clouds. That lasted till about uh, about 4 o'clock, and then we saw the jets out spraying once again over the tops of those natural clouds. And within about 40 minutes, uh, they had completely dissipated. All the natural clouds were gone, and we were back uh, with a canopy, a, a blanket of the uh, chemical aerosols in the skies over the uh, valley, valley areas here in Los Angeles. All right, so right now we're looking at the uh, Northeast Pacific water vapor loop. We have uh, jet stream flow right here. Let me uh, get my other uh, pen here. Here we go. So we have a jet stream flow moving right down and around this low pressure system and into California. This is a about 1,017 millibar low pressure system. Look what's happening right on top of the jet stream. Right here we have high pressure being installed right here, right there. And that is going to evaporate the uh, moisture that wants to, to uh, wrap into that uh, vortex. So uh, looking at the uh, infrared map, we can see very little. <clears throat> the intensity of the moisture wrapping into that vortex has been... Uh, diminished. We can see the uh, area right here. There's no tail on that front. It's been evaporated by these terrorists controlling our weather. So uh, once again, we have an opportunity for rain. We have a low pressure system skirting the entire uh, west coast of the United States, right along the California coast, and uh, yet there's hardly any rain. Let's look at the Doppler map right now. And we can see some rain offshore of uh, the uh, San Francisco area and also the Big Sur area right here and uh, nothing in, in Southern California. All right, so that's the uh, outlook. No rain. Uh, the uh, weather apps have been uh, toggling between rain and no rain uh, on and off predictions. Uh, they don't know anything more than. Uh, the people on TV or myself, uh, we're just looking at the uh, manipulation right here. This is uh, completely unnatural. I'd like to hear a, uh, <clears throat> a meteorologist explain <clears throat> how this is happening right here. We have high pressure evaporating the uh, jet stream flow right here. Let's go ahead and look at that jet stream map, and we can confirm what's happening. This is the flow pattern out of the uh, West Pacific. And up and around and down around this low, which is right moving down the coast. And all the moisture right here is being evaporated. Let's go back again and look at this. You can see uh, also there's a lot of thunderstorm activity down here off of Mexico, which is being uh, targeted and superheated. Otherwise, this would uh, form into a hurricane. Some of these thunderstorms here would. This operation is going on year-round, uh, but as we approach uh, the end of April and uh, May, we're getting into uh, the late spring, and we'll start to see these uh, low-pressure systems develop down here and some hurricane activity. Right here, we see a low-pressure system starting to uh, form right here. We've got the Hawaiian Islands, which are right in the path of this severe uh, thunderstorm activity right here moving to the east. It looks like it's going to pass right over the northern islands right here and maybe by uh, tomorrow 
keep an eye on that. But this is the main event here. Look at this. Another another rain opportunity uh, is completely uh, stifled once again by these terrorists controlling our weather. And so we have a no rain forecast once again by uh, both apps, both the weather.com and the accuweather.com. And we see why we've got high pressure being installed. Satellite transmitter is evaporating this uh, frontal system right here. And we can actually see the uh, chemtrails being sprayed right here in this area. This is jet stream flow right here wrapping around that vortex. <clears throat> and we see that patch of rain. Let's go back to the Doppler map. We can see that patch of rain right off the Bay Area where this uh, vortex is spinning. So amazingly, we have a, a no rain forecast, zero rain in the forecast. And the uh, Stooges on TV, these puppets, these idiots that are being paid six-figure salaries to uh, show us cartoon weather, will not show us this satellite map tonight or tomorrow. This is going to pass right by us. We should be getting, you know, inches of rain to help solve the drought conditions. That's not happening. Instead, we're being uh, fumigated by these uh, specially equipped jets that are spraying the chemical aerosols. Here's a look at the uh, southwest infrared map. We see a lot of moisture moving <clears throat> off the uh, Pacific into California. Southern California right down here. And yet there's uh, no rain anywhere. So that means that uh, there's a lot of a lot of chemtrail spraying going on. And the chemtrail, the, the, the name, the chemtrails, is a Sort of just a uh, a slang term that is uh, explains what's happening. We have chemical aerosols being sprayed into the skies. These are not clouds. They're not natural uh, clouds. There's nothing natural about these aerosols. They're they're manufactured to uh, absorb atmospheric water vapor, and that's why the humidity drops uh, substantially after those. Uh, aerosols are sprayed in the skies. So right now we have, as I mentioned, 59% relative humidity with a low pressure system almost right on top of us. Here's LA right down here and Vandenberg's right there and here's a low pressure system, a gigantic low and yet no rain in the forecast. So how do, how do people around here, these, these boobs, uh, Dallas Rains, uh, Fritz Coleman, and all the rest of them. I don't know how these people go on, go on day after day. We have we have criminals running our uh, <clears throat> the deep state. Our FBI is is completely corrupted. And so how how are we going to solve these problems when we have uh, the level of corruption that we're seeing in the FBI right now, along with the media, the state run state media, which is uh, not reporting any of this. Uh, any of this uh, activity in the FBI, the, the corruption going on. How are we going to solve these problems? When we can't even, uh, it's, it's amazing. We, we're, in a, we're in a bad spot, folks. Something has to be done. All right, so the surface analysis map shows three lows right here over the uh, west coast. The one that's skirting down the coast is 1,017 millibar right here. You can see an occluded front right there. That's the transmitter at work right on the uh, center of that low. Here's the cold front. And we have a very large low pressure system up here near the Aleutian Islands moving out of the Bering Sea, 979 millibar with a very large occluded front and a cold front. Let's go back and look at this on the big map. We can see that right up here. There's a low spinning and, and we have a transmitter right in this area which is uh, blockading the jet stream right here from winding into this uh, low pressure system right up here near the uh, Aleutian Islands. We have high pressure in this area. We have clockwise rotation. And uh, let's get this centered up. 
anyhow, that's that's the report. Uh, we have the swell report. We've got 10 foot swells right here off the uh, central California area. And that uh, low that's moving down the coast. <coughs> Okay, so we'll just leave it right here and uh, try to get another update out uh, tomorrow. Okay, that's it.